Josh Dean. And I'm Paul Hungerford. Welcome to Drone Center. On this very special episode of Drone Center, we will have all the weekend's drone racing results and we'll delve into the FAA's ongoing debate on regulation as it pertains to drones. Finally, we'll get into the details of this weekend's DR1 Invitational, including an up-close look at the location, rules, and track details. Well, I can't wait anymore. Let's get airborne, shall we? The 5B Regional Qualifier Quad Jam was held in the Decono Tower in Decono, Colorado. The event only ran 4S class, and of the 24 pilots, 9 lives took first place with 17 points. Dr. C and Justine C took second and third with 16 points each. Draper, Utah was home of the June Blitzed event hosted by Utah FPV Racing, their first race of the 2016 season. 17 pilots entered and only three left triumphant. Jack B. Nimble took third with 20 points. Warm Trooper managed to hold first place, squeaking past FPV Provo's 29 points for a 30-point first place finish. Rose City Drone Racing hosted the Jink and Jive Race 2016, held at Assumption College Park in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Hover Chicken found the third place slot, Jay Zovitz came in second, and T0991 won the big prize. Tucson, Arizona was home to Hot Parent Nights this weekend, hosted by Tucson Multirotor Racing. Of the 10 registered pilots, it was Credence who found third place with 11 points. Syndrome hit the number two spot with 20 points, and A.E. Myers took home the top prize with 23 points. The QRGO season race, a Father's Day special, was held in Suffield, Ohio at the Wingfoot Lake State Park driving range. There were two races in the Father's Day special, both a novice class and a race class. In the novice class, Slick 302 was third with 46 points, Skywalker was second with 55 points, and Lucas B took first with 60 points. In the race class, T-Bone took first with 59 points, Drew Racer 32 and Seeker took second and third with 52 and 47 points. Now to news on the increasingly complicated issue of drone regulation. As more and more drones take to the air, the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, has made its presence known both in aerial photography and drone racing. Michael Katarina from Minnesota took his DJI Phantom to the air in August of 2015 to capture aerial footage of a protest for Cecil the Lion, who was hunted and killed in Zimbabwe. Although Katarina had reportedly met all of the FAA requirements, including not flying over people or within five miles of an airport, Katarina was fined $55,000 in April. As a result, Katarina hasn't flown a drone since November, but is reportedly fighting the fines. Which came first, the first-person shooter or the first-person drone? Easy, Wolfenstein 3D came first. Well, now those two great tastes that taste great together are being combined to create drone gaming. The team at Air Hogs announced Mission Drone to the world at last week's E3 event in Los Angeles. It combines drone flying with fun missions and challenges in its alien video game adventure. Those at the Electronics Entertainment Expo were able to strap on their goggles and take their drone to the sky while striving to deploy troops, put out fires, and avoid buildings within an unfolding world of battle. Mission Drone will be available later this year for under $150. This project from Air Hogs opens an exciting new avenue for drone owners to test their skills. In international racing news, Russia held its first official drone racing championship in early June, and suddenly a pastime that started in parks and abandoned buildings is exploding all over Russia. Formula Drone Championship general organizer Alex Serebrenikov sees a Formula One type fan base in the future of the sport. Of course, like in the rest of the world, Russian pilots are experiencing growing pains when it comes to bureaucracy. In the beginning of the drone rise, and for Russia that was late 2015, Russia's lower house of parliament, the state Duma, required all drones heavier than 250 grams be registered. That's 8.8 .8 ounces for the metrically challenged. As a result, children were showing up with toy drones for registration. The regulation was eventually changed from 250 grams to 30 kilograms, or 66 pounds. Despite their later start, can the Russians become real contenders in the world of drone racing? They already have. Pilot Vladimir Misherikov and his team took third place at the first International Quadcopter Championship, the World Drone Prix in Dubai in April 2016. The Russians won a total of $150,000. It's a safe bet they are here to stay.
The 25th and 26th of June are upon us, and that means the DR1 Invitational presented by Mountain Dew is finally here. First off, host and pilot extraordinaire Mr. Steele has landed in a very pleasant 100 degree Los Angeles, and he's not alone. While some have already arrived and some are still somewhere over the Atlantic, over the next 48 hours, all 12 will be here and ready to race. DR1 is very pleased to announce that Chris Thomas and the Multi-GP team are managing the race and have worked hand-in-hand -hand with producers and track designers to ensure that his track is one of the best of the year. Pilots will be racing their own quads with a separate spec race being shown exclusively online. Immersion RC will be supplying the spec class drones. 4S batteries only for the race, either bring the power or stay grounded. This is a two-lap race with all drones being required to carry a GoPro. Saturday will be practice laps and heats. Each pilot will be racing for time, with the time dictating their seating in the qualifiers the next morning. On Sunday, the pilots will return for a series of races leading into the finals in the afternoon. On Sunday, there will also be a freestyle exhibition, including runs by our very own host, Mr. Steele, and DR1 test flight Zoe FPV. But wait, who is racing again? Zach Anub Thayer, Jordan Jet Temkin, Carlos Sharpu Puertolas, Luke Banny UK Bannister, Sean Night Fury Taylor, Tommy Umagod Tibahia, Chad Final Glide Nowak, Kevin Stinger Swarm Doherty, Phil Freybot Freybot, Gary Justice FPV Kent, Bapu Bapu FPV Madhu and the pilot selected by you last week after five weeks of our Twitch Picks the Last Pilot competition, Johnny, Johnny FPV Share. So, without further ado, the first annual DR1 Invitational presented by Mountain Dew will be held at the Sepulveda Dam. Cement and heat and water hazards, and most likely a rattlesnake or two. Twelve of the world's top racers taking on a dam and each other for the grand prize of $30,000 in cash, or maybe in a giant novelty check. The race will stream live on twitch.tv slash DR1 Racing, and then in a one-hour special on the Science Channel, August 6th at 7 p.m., and again on the Discovery Channel. Throughout the week, stay tuned to Twitch and the DR1 social channels for the latest news and live reports. That wraps it up for us here on Drone Center. I'm Paul Hungerford. And I'm Josh Dean. Thanks for watching, and thanks for flying.